Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Well, the smoke has been the big story. Take a look at this time lapse view from our Red Lion camera. This is not cloud cover early this morning. Starting out, watch this. It looks like clouds pushing off to the north and to the east. That's the smoke that came in from fires from Oregon, and there's still smoke here. A thicker band of it pushed through in the morning. Very hazy and a murky looking sky. And then uh, we started to see that start to disperse a little bit in the afternoon. You watch some of the blue beginning to become a little bit more dominant here. And then main push of smoke going to the north and the east, but there's still smoke in a lot of locations and it's likely to be around tomorrow as well as fires will continue to produce smoke as long as the heat is around 97 degrees officially in Boise today. 98, so not getting to that 100 degree mark. We take a look at the number of annual 100 plus degree days. We've been keeping a close count on it. We averaged five and a half. We've had 11 so far this summer. Michelle predicted 10. She's one off. Don saying 15 plus, which in my book is 16. And I've got 12, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm expected to be right around 100. We'll keep a close eye on that. It has been above 100 by far in portions of Oregon. The all time hottest temperature for Portland at the airport is 107. The high temperature thus far, now it can be a little bit later that it occurs, is 105. So we'll have to see if they come close, they come close to it already. But we'll see if they hit it. 108 at the Dallas, 109 in Medford. So the core of the heat going from Medford now, shifting up to the Portland Salem area. It's still 70 in Newport, but it's 81 degrees in Tillamook. So a little bit warmer along northern coastal sections. Some of the coolest weather west of Roseburg here, where it's 108 in Roseburg and just to the west along the coast. Temperature's nice in the 50s and 60s there, probably a little low clouds and fog as well. High temperatures today further to the east, a little cooler. You see all the pink over here. That's the temperatures above 100 degrees for all of Washington and Oregon. We've got the smoke only in the 80s to the east. Another surge of cool air will come in from the north and west. The breeze will pick up in these locations as well as in the Treasure Valley. Our pressure is falling as our frontal system goes by. The temperature is not going to drop much at all. By the way, if we didn't have the smoke we had today, we would have hit 100 degrees. And tomorrow the forecast and the chart has been around 100. I wouldn't be surprised if we're at 98 and 99 again tomorrow because smoke is a good bet. However, we do have this northwesterly wind. We've had a westerly flow along bringing in smoke. Now it's going to shift more northwesterly and there's maybe a little less fire activity here, but I'm just seeing fires popping up. In fact, I want to show you here coming up in a moment some of the, the visible satellites showing where the smoke plumes are today. Beautiful blue skies this morning in McCall, but then here it comes. The smoke flying on in the northern sections that around the Salmon River. There's a couple of fires burning and so that smoke settles right into the canyon in the morning and then disperses later around the Salmon River. But in the McCall area getting to see some of that 91 degrees. So it's uh, not much cooler in McCall right now and it still will be near 90 tomorrow. Then in the 80s over the weekend areas of smoke and times of smoke likely to continue a chance of some thunderstorms popping up during next week. Look at this. I predict the 39 at Redfish Lake this morning, and it was down to 39 degrees. We had some blue skies. A good view, right? Watch closely here as our time lapse view goes through. Look at that smoke just shroud the view of the sawtooth in the distance there as that smoke coming in there. Fires northeast of Stanley and at night. And that smoke is settling back into the south and then blows off a little bit later towards the evening hours. So it takes time for these delay, this uh, delay and that smoke coming in. There's that big wave of smoke pushing to the south and to the east, a little less smoky right now. But the wider view shows another plume. There's a big area of smoke that called the lava flow fire north and not far from uh, basically in this region here from the INEEL. Uh, smoke pushing to the southeast here as well. Fires dotting the landscape up around the Salmon River. You see the smoke plume starting to pick up this afternoon, but the some of the bigger fires are to the west here around the southwest of Burns. You can see this fire burning. This one likely giving a smoke. A couple of fires down in southwest Oregon. A lot of smoke being produced here as well as north and west of Bend. There's a fire up near the Canadian border. And I've been looking real close right in here just north and west of Weezer. It seems like there's some fire originating right along the Snake River here. That's not showing up on the satellites yet, but there may be a fire right along the Snake River uh, around the Hell's Canyon area. So something to just keep an eye out for. I'll keep an eye on that for you. In the meantime, orange air quality alert in effect for tomorrow and for the time being or the uh, until further notice because the smoke, we don't know when it's going to dissipate here. Air quality alert northern Idaho, western Montana, Washington, 
uh, the uh, high excessive heat warnings to the western portions of Washington and Oregon continue. The storms will stay to the south. They are now, so we'll just have smoke to deal with. And the wind picking up tomorrow as another cold front moves on through. At least it's keeping the dry lightning down to the south, which is some great news. So let's take a look at my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Sky probably won't be this blue as we'll have more smoke around likely, although it could clear away since we are getting a different wind direction coming in tomorrow. Still hot in the western valley. The breezy conditions will pick up in the afternoon, especially not so in the morning. It'll be stagnant, but the breeze will pick up and stir things up later. 98 in Garden Valley, 103 in Riggins tomorrow, 90 in the McCall area still. What a great week. It's been a vacation up there in those higher elevations. Mid 80s for Stanley and Sun Valley, about 91 in Fairfield. The breeze will pick up in the Camas Prairie tomorrow. Our temperatures slowly start to drop through the mid 90s, maybe down to 93 by next Tuesday. And if we get some cloud cover, it'll actually feel quite comfortable. You can get back outside and maybe do some work. I haven't cut my grass in about three weeks. Uh oh. It's, it's high in some spots, but it just hasn't grown all that much. I probably didn't feed it the, the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so hot outside right, sure. that things Stunted. just kind of, yeah. Yeah, have fun with yeah. that. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Well,